Helmet cam, where we, that structure we see is the, the spacewalker. This is Jared now egressing through the forward hatch of Dragon Resilience. These are the first views of the first ever commercial spacewalk. I'm at the bottom of the mobility aid, progressing. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. There's SpaceX. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. Step into Test Matrix 1. Single handed mobility wow. demonstration. Commander Jared Isaacman now emerging. Copy from review, Test Matrix 1, watching from the nose cone. Up, down, left, and right are three. Pitch and roller three, yaw injury two. Switching. Single handed operations are fine. Static. Ambit dynamic disturbance. Switching to left hand. Down, left, and right are threes, maybe a two. Pitch is a four. Roll is a two. Yaw is a two. So these are the suit mobility checks that Jared is performing. Single-handed operations, dynamic and with disturbance are all adequate. Test matrix one complete. Hud check, 5.3 PSI, 48% RH, 33 decimal line Celsius. SpaceX copies, test matrix one and HUD readout. Crew off check, ev one good. ev one good. Question good. Okay, stepping into vertical translation. We're gonna start with the horizontal bars. We're going to transition over to vertical. I'd say vertical and horizontal are equally workable, slightly favors horizontal. I'm going to do a max reach. Left hands at the top of the mobility aid. At the midpoint, you have good video. We just lost our live video, but stand by one. Okay, switching over to Max Reach, switching to Step it out, SpaceX, I'm holding up at the Max Reach. NEV-1, go ahead and continue the operation. Uh, we'll let you know we're back on with live video. Copy that. And for your awareness, max reach, let me aid, and the mid bar. Next test matrix two is complete. Cut readout, 5.3 PSI, 33.9 Celsius, 50% RH. Copy, test matrix complete, and HUD readout. 
the last check, you do one skin. Easy two skin. More good. Put two skin. Stepping in the test matrix three. And Hands free demonstration. EV1 SpaceX for ingress time. Go SpaceX. Recommended ingress time of 02 flow plus 47 minutes. Copy that. Ingress time 47 minutes. And Dragon, we're back on live video from the nose cone. Copy that, SpaceX. And SpaceX EV-1, I would say the hands-free demonstration is very comparable to the trainer in terms of the foot restraints. SpaceX copies. And EV-1, when you have time, if you'd like to return to the reach demonstration, uh, we'll take a look at that with the live video. Copy that. Test matrix 3 is complete. The hot readout is 5.3 PSI, 47% RH, 33 decimal 8 Celsius, and stepping back into max reach. Copy test matrix and as you can 3. See, top of the mobility aid. And uh, let's get a quick crew off check. EV1 said. EV2 said. I'm good. Fucking good. Copy that. Okay, uh, max reach, whether it's left or right hand, seems to be about the same. Top of the mobility aid, and then the mid road. Copy, we see it. Checking up from the bottom. Any go back, SpaceX? Negative. We got about one minute until EV1 ingress. Copy that, one minute. It's gorgeous. You want to see a time to get the impulse and run his right foot. TV1, we're checking out your helmet cam now. Well, I'm checking out your nose cone right now. And looks pretty good. Copy, we're turning nose cone. See you looking at us. All right, we're coming up about that O2 flow timer time. Two check for ingress. EV1 good. EV2 good. Good. All right, SpaceX EV-1, congrats for the huge team effort that it took to get us to this point. We know it's just the start, and I'm transitioning back into the vehicle. TV1, just taking a quick look here at the hat shield. From what I can see so far, they look pretty good. Copy on the hat shields and stand by for transition to the read off reset. Copy that space. Good. And EV-1 is clear. All right, so Jared, back inside. Uh, we, we heard him going through 
what's called the test matrix. Uh, it's basically just a bunch of maneuvers using different hands, using the foot okay, mobility. Read off reset is in progress. Calling out numbers. Right now, though, we're doing, you just heard Arthur call up three off reset. So we didn't use any of the forward thrusters while Jared was out there. We're re enabling them, putting us back in our perfect attitude before Sarah gets ready to go out the door. Fun thing to note it's still not a perfect vacuum inside a Dragon. It's, it's an open loop system, so oxygen is kind of getting dumped into the cabin as this is going on. So you got a higher pressure in Dragon than you have outside. So we're not worried about thruster plumbing. Yeah. Now you mentioned Sarah. Um, just like Jared, she will have 10 to 15 minutes uh, outside, perform those same sets of mobility tests as Jared. Uh, like we heard the core do um, with EV1, uh, they will call out when there's one minute remaining. Uh, SpaceX, attitude reset complete. EV2, go for egress. There is Sarah's clear to proceed. Copy. Crew check for EV2 egress. EV1's good. EV2's good. Four good. Four two good. EV2 is going to go stand in the door and then step outside. <laughs> <laughs> now this test matrix that uh, Jared just performed and the one that Sarah's about to perform, they have both committed to memory um, in order to execute these. Um, we saw it being done pretty efficiently. I yeah. can't believe how quickly that time went by. Mike, we were talking about how your spice box for hours and <laughs> these right. guys only have 10 to 15 minutes and it just like that. Yeah, it, it can go pretty quick. And, uh, but fortunately, um, that feels look good. I see a little bit of a bulge between 14 and 13. So you're hearing Sarah call out some more of the seal check there as, as she's exiting out. It's very seated. SpaceX copies that report. Good fix. So this was something we knew might happen. Um, and this Sarah... Is between 28 and 27? Copy. The crew trained on exactly what to do in this scenario. Just pop it back in. And Reseed one it. final between 19 and 18. That might be best reseated with hatch closure. SpaceX copies. Can you repeat the location? After EVA complete. Between 19 and 18. All right, copy. I'll track that and uh, ask again when you're in ingress. Copy. EV2 is proceeding with egress. Super exciting to see this. Our fellow SpaceXer, yeah. Sarah Gillis, now about to make her spacewalk. EV1, I'm going to hand this back to you. Like we mentioned, Sarah will be performing the same uh, set of mobility tests, uh, so we will do the same. Uh, try to stand by and listen to those calls. I said it before, a lot of us work here because we want to do this. All right, stepping into test matrix one for single-handed mobility. Really cool to see one of our own out there. That's awesome. And EV2 for awareness. We're watching from the nose cone. Copy all. All 
I would say in all three translational answers, I'm having certainly cross couple movements. Forward, back, I am inducing a bit of a roll. Similarly, with left, right, and up, down, a bit of a tick. But all are achievable rating of three. Yaw is a three. Roll is a four. And pitch is a three. the left hand, stepping into vertical translation. SpaceX copies, and EV2 for awareness, we're tracking an ingress time at 02 flow, 5, 9 minutes. Copy, 5, 9 minutes. Horizontal bars are definitely preferred. And I'm not exactly able to stabilize my body with single hand disturbances. Right. Stepping into max reach, do you have visual? A firm, we have visual on the nose cone. Copy from bar four to bar two, from top down. And similar reach 